Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about choosing your career and mistakes. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, does every software engineer go through a phase where they think that they've made a mistake when choosing their career? I am the worst person to ask this question, literally. I, do, I don't think I can imagine a worse person than asking this, uh, to ask this question of, because I, I can sense that you sort of want me to relate to you here and go like, of course, I mean, everybody goes through it and like, and then make you feel better about the whole thing. And I'm probably one of the few, or may, I mean, I'm gonna give the rest of the industry a little more credit than that, but I have never, ever, ever, for even a second, apart from more as a joke, maybe, felt that this was the wrong career for me. I am so happy that I made this choice. I have never questioned it. I, I could almost start a church and start going on uh, stages around the world, following around with to Tony Robbins uh, or someone like that, and just... Uh, tell you that you your life will change for the better and you will be become happier if you just learn how to code because that is how I feel about it it is the most fulfilling thing I've ever done in my entire life apart from no I can't even say that it's not, not apart from anything there is nothing that I, get, I have a few things that are sort of at the same level but on the whole I don't think there is anything I absolutely love it every single moment every single day I wake up I am um, I, I can't wait to start the next day. So I, like, I don't even need my alarm anymore. I literally, I haven't used my alarm for years now. Uh, I wake up by myself around four to five in the morning so that I can go and go through the queue of new things I want to understand and learn within my field. And then it's time to go to work. The one time you really feel shitty I mean, because that happens. Like, it's when you have to do something really boring. And I'm not going to lie to you. Programming is going to be hard. Because the thing is, when I was when I was in the uh, in the university and was learning all this stuff, when everything was like super hard to understand, it sucked. It really sucked. I never questioned that this was a mis I, uh, that it was a mistake because I was hell bent on making this work. But I did really feel sometimes like I'm too dumb for this, and I was really scared that I wasn't smart enough to make it through and like actually understand all these things. But I kept on pushing, and finally I went from having to look things up all the time to looking it up most of the time, and then I went from looking it up most of the time to looking up looking things up sometimes, and now I still look it up look things up sometimes. But I've reached a point now where, well, I kind of know how most things work. And if I don't know exactly, I sort of have, you, you develop almost a little bit of a sixth sense. You kind of know, yeah, this seems very similar to this other thing I've done a few times. Let's try it out. Like, just let's be lazy and like, see if I can tweak it a little bit. Oh yeah, it works. Cool. That's probably not going to come back and bite anybody. I mean, adding a few sleep statements here and there is fine. And always put important on all your CSS rules. You heard it here first. So for me, it's not so relatable to say that this was the wrong career path, but I can imagine, I can absolutely state to you that I have seen people really struggle. And I promise you that before you get to a point where you start feeling like, yeah, this is just a normal day and like everything is kind of, I'm not saying boring, but things are kind of just smooth and so forth you will feel, you will definitely feel uh, strain. If there is, uh, if you've ever thought that programming is gonna be something similar to, I don't know, becoming a like, a, like just taking a basic course or that you're going to go th go through this thing as sort of, this sort of thing where you get some a basic education in like a, a, a low paying job where you kind of do something that most people could master within like a week or two or maybe a few months, forget it. That's not programming. Programming is a really serious endeavor, which is for most people going to be extremely hard to go through. I uh, To give you like just a rough idea, when I went through the university, 
within the first semester, we lost half the class. Half. And by the end of my education, a fourth of us remained. That's how many people dropped off. The only people who survived were either the people who were so desperate that they couldn't, they didn't have any other choice, or the people who were so engaged and so passionate that they actually just flew through. Like the the gap between people was enormous. You had the top brass who like aced everything, and then you had the people who barely made it through any course, but they had no other choice because. This was it, right? This was the like they bet so much on this so that they they stuck by it. The in betweeners, they just they kind of left immediately. And so, uh, what I'm not trying to scare you away from this thing, but I will tell you that it's going to be hard. Uh, no discussion. Some of you are going to be really lucky, and uh, you might take a boot camp or something like that, something simple, uh, learn some of this stuff, and you're still uh, even if you do that. Uh, and you're still gonna struggle because then you're gonna get into the industry and you're gonna realize that holy shit there's a lot of code in the projects and holy shit there's a lot of stakeholders and now all of a sudden I can't just sit here and take as long as I want or just drop the product when I want I actually have to deliver something according to a specification and you, I'm gonna get paid if I do it and if I don't get paid they're gonna be angry with me and they might fire you or they, they're gonna fire you. That's, uh, that's the, that, that is the difference. And that pressure is going to stick to you. It's gonna affect you at some point. And this is the whole reason why, well, most at the very least of the reason why I sit here. And I'm trying to get give you some tips and guidance, the sort of stuff that I didn't really have when I was going through this. I kind of just sat there and I thought I was the dumbest motherfucker I ever live. And I mean, that could still be true, but at the very least, I want to give you some insights and something to, to grab onto and kind of help you with a few of the questions that you might have regarding the life of a software developer. From the point where you get your first job or like you're about to get your first job up until the point where you're, well, at least like semi at my level, I suppose. And that is about the level where you're now getting to the point where you might just be a team lead level or you might just be a seat like a a person of influence where you're now actually influencing younger developers and so forth that, because that's roughly where I am today uh, I'm by no means like a senior developer or anything like that but that's roughly where I, where I have arrived so what I want you to take away from this is that I am the worst person to ask you to, to see to if you can relate to to get to relate to the idea that I like there was a mistake to choose this career path because I love my job. It is so much more. Like I even feel almost a little bit. It, it, the word that I love, uh, love is not a strong enough word. It's basically an obsession at this point, and it's not just a job for me. It is so much more, and I am happy every single day because I made this choice. And I was almost not going to make it when I was younger because I was afraid that I was too stupid to do it. And then I made the switch and I found that this was the thing I was supposed to be doing. And so since then I've done it and I haven't needed to set my, to, to set my alarm clock since because I wake up just organically early enough so that I can go and start doing it again. And I don't know if I'm gonna do it forever but I'm gonna fuck, uh, I'm gonna sure as hell do it for a long time, I hope. And I will tell you on the other hand that everybody goes through a rough patch in programming. I promise you that you will because it takes a while to get to a point where you feel so comfortable because I mean there's a lot of stuff going on, there's a lot of new concepts and you have to learn enough of it, especially, I mean, and it is a big area, to feel like you sort of can deal with things. You can kind of relax and you kind of know how things work and you can produce things and people are like just overall okay with how you produce. It's never going to be perfect, but you're going to get to that point where it's not uncomfortable anymore. And in the beginning, it will be rough. And I know it will be rough because every single person I've ever worked with, myself included, has gone through that rough patch. It's not going to be easy, but I promise you that you can do it. It all comes down to, are you willing to do the work? Have a great day.